I'm Ellie from The Dark Imp and this is my home study or studio or both, bit of both really and of course it's at home so you know you have to bear in mind there are some things around that will, you'd find in a home uh, but there are also some things that you might find in a study. I thought you might like to take a little look around so come in, come in. Uh, first of all let's have a look, you've got, got a bookcase here, oh look brambly hedge plates, love them. Um, got some books about games and then we've got books about business which I'm bet I get through at quite a rate and then over here this is the this is the main storage area so let's take a closer look at what we've got on top we've got a lot of games that are ready to go out so uh, we tend to make up at the moment we're making up all the games here so we get all the components sent to us in different bits and then we put them all together so here's a load of top cake games donut dash gnome grown i think we just sold out of don't count your chickens i'll have to make up some more of them here are the sets of coaster games for the little travel packs but also we have the coaster games in in 20 so in sets of 20 of the same design because people buy them in bulk and you can do that through the website so there's six different designs of coaster here these are puzzle boxes ready to go out a board game and puzzle box uh, with lots of different board, uh, lots of different games and puzzles in and then we've got some of these boxes which you can't see uh, normally because they're covered by a sleeve but you can see the dark imp is debossed on these boxes and then we've got i mean in here is a load of oh pens and things pens and things mainly a lot so a lot of the stuff you see is either things for that are ready for you know for production things that are getting ready to send games out but also things for board game design so we've got leaflets and business cards. We've got the badges that I wear in videos and when I go out. Uh, we've got, uh, this is actually the, the expansion rules to Don't Count Your Chickens, which nobody's really got yet. So maybe, and there's an expansion to Donut Dash coming out as well. These are Don't Count Your Chicken rule books, tiles from Gnome Grown. And everywhere you look, there's different bits. This is all coasters. We've got a store cupboard as well. In fact, we've got two where there are big boxes of these things as well, but I have some accessible here so that I can make things up easily. Uh, these are some of the, uh, some copies of the game, of the book, Board Game Family. And then these are all my games, which are my own personal uh, copies of each game so that I can get them out and play them and show them to people, but I'm not always getting new games out. Those are ready to go out, those ones up here. So this is uh, our new cracker, new cracker games. As you can see, a little sneak peek inside. Woo! Uh, and the other end. Woo! No plastic in there. Uh, yeah, so those are my games. And then uh, more things ready to go in games in boxes. These are um, packing boxes, as you can see. And behind there, more games. The placemat games. Have a look at that. Beach Life and Castaway. And then we have, oh, look at these as well. These are little gnomes. These are, the, the, the no, these gnomes here, this gnome you'll find inside Gnome Grown. He's the gnome that walks along the garden track. But when we first got them sent to us, they were sent in different colours. And we decided to get the colours changed to match the gnome on the front of the art. So these are the only two gnomes in existence with those colours. Aren't they cute? Um, and then what else have we got if we look along here we've got a lot so if you haven't got any dark imp games yet you may not have seen the imps the wooden imps we think we've got them in six different colors so i've got stacks of them upstairs as well but some easy easily accessible here and also there's some sort of uh, misshapen ones that don't make the cut for the game so these are ones that maybe have corners cut off the cubes or um, you know imps that have got a little crack on them uh, and I keep them in my game design area so in in this area there are lots of prototypes of games that I've I've been working on so you'll find games like worm attack that hasn't been published yet this is the uh, this is going to be in puzzle box three it's the ready to blind playtest version of countdown confusion so all the artwork and graphic design has been done uh, it's actually it's going to be in the mint tin 
The cards are thicker than they will be, which is why it's bursting out of the mint tin. But it's got ever such a lot of cards in it. You see, there's the rule book ready for someone to blind play test and the cards. And it's got these mini cards in. So when they blind play test, they're teaching themselves from the rules. So that is ready to go when we, can, when we get out of lockdown. And then I've got games that I'm working on uh, with uh, prototype cards, you know, so these, these are the things that I make up at home and print out here and laminate here so we can use them. These are uh, all sorts of different games. This has obviously been used several times, got the Civ game in now. Pike on a trike. Uh, this is a game I was working on for um, a sort of trading game for schools. So you can see the value of different uh, vegetables, fruit and vegetables at different times. Uh, that isn't working yet. That was chaotic when we played it last time. So I need more work on that. So there's these two whole bits full of games that uh, haven't, that aren't yet published. And then this bit here is full of things that are good game design stuff. So a box of um, cubes, really useful for all sorts of different games. These, if you come in a bit, you'll see this is these are tiles from the last version of gnome grown before it went to the graphic designer so i'll keep things like this because i might be able to use them again i might scribble on them with a sharpie i might use the reverse side but i don't want to just be wasteful and throw them away um, so i keep all sorts of things like that and we've got cards in all sorts of different sizes uh, there's loads of stuff in here you see this is actually gnome grown as well P putting cards, playing cards in sleeves, uh, back to buy another card is really helpful. So this was Countdown Confusion. This was known grown. It's just a piece of paper. So when you're designing, it's useful to just slip a new, a, a new card in there. And then you don't have to keep laminating everything. Uh, and it's easier to play with. And then we've got, look, check out. Oops, dice shakers going everywhere. Look at all these dice. So we've got, here's a 12-sided dice with another 12-sided dice in the middle. We've got some tetrahedron three-sided dice. We've even got, I'm sure I've got a huge, huge one. I can't find it. Um, dice with no numbers on but shapes and colours. And then a load of lollipop sticks. I mean, just all sorts of different kinds of things you might use in prototypes. So when we got the prototypes of the imp scent, we got these imps in a different colour. They didn't make it because we thought that they were too like the yellow. So we never actually got the sand imps made up. But I keep them. So this is all really good stuff for, for using for prototypes. Now, what else have we got? This whole uh, window seat underneath is all games. It's all full of bits of donut dash and top cake and all sorts of things. In here, look, packing material. Woo, we don't put any plastic in. So, you know, we've got this gorgeous sort of aubergine coloured uh, paper that goes in all the packing material. And then this is the, this is the desk. I use this table all the time for game design and for just packing stuff and doing all sorts of things, packing up orders. And then this is my desk which is very nifty because as I did say, this is a house. So actually the, I'm gonna move, we're gonna do a, an amazing transformation. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you that this all transforms into the spare bedroom. So if you have a look now, it's a study bed, woo! So. There's a fully made up bed underneath. Double bed, how cool is that? Now we've got to make home working work for us, haven't we? Three seconds and it's a desk again. You can even have a cup of tea on it when you're doing that, it's pretty nifty. Uh, okay, and then round here, here's the studio. So when I'm taking videos, I'm doing them from this side of the room here. I've got some lighting. I think, Alpha, you've nicked the other light. It's up in your bedroom. And I'm going to sit here and put the, and I, and I video from here. So you just see this area here. So it's all very, so next time you watch one of the videos, you'll be able to see, uh, you'll be able to know what's in, the, what's in the area around. So that's a little whistle stop tour of the Dark Imps Nerve Centre. Thank <laughs> you.